Deja D. And it's Jay Stan. <laughs> Welcome to our first, because you've been doing the Stevie J hands. I'm a little confused. Welcome oh, now you to good. our you got first mukbang um, and Q&A. Right. Our goal for this mini series is to feature black owned restaurants. Um, and then let y'all get to know us a little more beyond the podcast. This will be shorter and look a little different. So, Justin, where did you where did you get your food from, and what did you get? Uh, Justin got his food from Gilly's Seafood, located on James Island, South Carolina. Relax. I know I spoke in third person. It happens. Everybody does it. Just mind your business. <laughs> but nonetheless, Gilly's Seafood, located on James Island, South Carolina, uh, they have soul food as well as seafood this time around. I decided to go the, the soul food route, of course. I ordered, uh, they have something on the menu known as the meat and three. Uh, I got the meat being pork chops. Uh, for my size, I got hush puppies, french fries, and mac and cheese. <laughs> Real black. <laughs> yeah, you All know right. me. Yeah, um, you know me. <laughs> so I got my food from Virgil's Gullah Kitchen. Um, I'm in Atlanta, but they are from Charleston. Um, they have three locations, but I only know of two, which is College Park, uh, Midtown, I think Conyers, but Midtown and College Park are the only two I've been to. I got what they call their bussin' <laughs> muffins. It's cornbread muffins with a sweet potato puree over the top. And the then for my uh, entree, I got the fish, what is it called? The fish plate. So it's fish, fried fish, and red rice, which All is- right. You know, quit acting brand new like you're not from Charleston. Fuss, no, 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 I'm talking about what the was the menu called. I mean, not the. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Then I, I got dessert, which I probably won't even eat till later. But it was a, a I think it's called the Charleston Chewy Sunday. So, oh, <laughs> first up, first question we got was, how do we meet? Uh, we met. Uh... <clears throat> working for a nonprofit organization in North Charleston, South Carolina. Uh, and we worked together. So it started off with, uh, I believe Daisha was my superior. <laughs> yeah, okay. you were like, you had, I'm like just a, little you say you you had a little rank. You had a little rank over me. And I'm just like, yo, chill. Like, let me do me over here. But now nah, Daisha was cool. I'm just talking. But now nah, everything was cool. That's how we met. We met at a a nonprofit organization that I, I'm not going to name, of course, because <laughs> for the best. but we definitely did touch many lives. I would love to say uh, that is a fact while we worked there for sure and still are touching many lives by the people that we did, you know, touch initially and still now when we were there. Uh, but uh, that's, that's what I remember. I don't remember the exact moment we met, but I do know that we met through working together. So, okay, so that's not completely wrong. I feel like that's when we got to know each other a little better. But technically, we we met. No, you're not wrong. Technically, we met. um, I think it was uh, was 2017. When did you cross? um, When was your probate? 2017. Okay, so I, I thought so. So I remember briefly meeting Justin because at the time the place that he's talking about I was working there with his line brother so I knew his line brother first I would just see Justin here and there but we didn't speak to each other we were just like hey how are you and that was it fast forward to the summertime is when we actually knew each other's names got to know each other and then over the years have gotten closer um just side note I just want to let everybody know out there that yes I am friendly Versus what you may think when you initially see me, you be like, "Yo, this dude here, like, my God, he cannot be approachable." I'm a very, I'm very approachable. You can't come talk to me. I will speak. Uh, don't be shy. But yeah, um, this fish is seasoned very well. Uh, <laughs> but it is. I bet it, it is. is. So, why did we start this podcast? Uh, the reason we started the podcast, or how did it start? Well, I'll give you no, my why perspective. Did we start it? Why did we start? Oh, of course. Yeah, 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 yeah. No doubt. Basically, just to give everybody some insight for the folks that are feel as if though they're too old and wish they would have done something. And for the younger crowd that should be trying to take on the aspirations or their ideas that they come up in their mind. Mm-hmm. So they need to take action and do. 
So that's the whole reason for the title in itself in retrospect podcast, because you got folks that are too old, not too old. I shouldn't say that, but folks that have feel like they're past their uh, time of having a lot of fle- flexibility. Well, look at me trying to use big, big words, man, but using flexibility that they are having that flexibility that they have, which is time to do the things that they wanted to do. But now they got responsibilities in life uh, and they can't, you know, do as much versus, the people that are our age, a little bit younger than us as well, that have time to put stuff in motion and make it happen. So just to, br- to bring awareness to that it, with different topics that we do discuss. So that was really the main reason that we did start this podcast. Um, I agree. And I would just add that um, we would like to, we would hope that we represent Charleston in a positive light because you don't see too many um podcasts or really people from Charleston who claim Charleston um, doing like positive things. In my opinion, I don't see it that often. So, all right. Drums are flats. And if you don't know what that means, it's- Chicken wings. Chicken wings. wings. See, I'm gonna go with the drums. I like some legs. You know, I tell them for real. You mean why? Don't make that face at me. I like drums. The question was drums or flat. Justin like drums. I, I mean, feel like come flats on are, I feel like flats are clearly better. Um, why? Because they're crispier. Drums can be crispier. Mm, I feel like flats are crispy and you, the meat isn't dry. If you make a, a drum too crispy, I feel like the meat tastes dry to me. And the same thing can happen to a flat. It can happen, but how often is it happening? Oh, here you go with these technicalities, but no, no, ma'am. <laughs> it can definitely happen to a flat, for sure. I'm just saying. Now, I'm lie. Now, you might get a drum. You might mess around and catch the hamstrings from that chicken. But you just got to be careful, though. <laughs> and yeah. I don't even like, I don't like them little quarter leg things, whatever they call. I mean, it varies, I, I like drums, but, you know, that's just me me personally. That's my, that's my prerogative. Okay. Yeah, um, yeah. All the single ladies out there want to know what is your <laughs> relationship? Don't even, don't even, don't even. First off, don't even word, don't even word that question like that. Don't even do that. Matter of fact, okay, all right, okay. If that's what if that's what we doing. Uh, my current uh status, since you, since you want to word it like that, I'm dating. I'm dating. What does you dating know. mean? Here we go. You want okay? Keep playing. All right. What does dating mean? That I'm I'm going on dates with people, okay. seeing what I like, seeing what uh piques Justin's interest. Uh, and Daisha, you said what? What's my end goal? Yeah, I mean, what do you think everybody else's end goal is? Everybody's end goal is different. Else. Some people want to be poly. Some people want to be open. Some people are nominal. Yeah, yeah, I ain't got time for all that poly stuff. I'm trying to find somebody that can build with me. It's me <laughs> and them. I ain't got time for all that extra. I can't do that. I ain't got time for all of that. That's too many personalities to be trying to work. Nah, I'm cool on that. <laughs> yeah, I was asking. But so, Dayson, you know, that's the burning question everybody wants to know. Like, I'm what sure is your status right now? Like, what are you that. doing? Like, what's up? Um, you know, I am, I'm dating, but mm-hmm. I'm not, I'm intentionally dating. I say so that. What are you trying to say? I just not intentionally dating? Nope. What I'm saying is I feel like a lot of times people say date and date often and you know what I mean? Like multi date and whatever. I think multi dating and casually dating have become draining for me. So it's something that uh, this past year I was just like, eh, I'm not into that. I'd rather get to know a person on a deeper level. And if it doesn't work out, it doesn't work out and just move on. But my goal is to have a genuine connection. So, because I'm tired of the dating process. That's, that's the same thing with Justin, man. It's scary out here, though. I thought I used to thought everything was sweet out here. Then all of a sudden, you know, a lot of different things start transpiring. You start realizing, eh, I don't know about all that. Like it's a lot of stuff going on social media, trick people thinking somebody's doing something and they ain't doing nothing but taking a nap. Now somebody think you out somewhere with somebody else because one of their friends allegedly saw you somewhere whole right. time you at the house sleep. It's just but a lot of situations in, that are just then you don't really owe them that. That is true, but you know how that go. Everybody want to have their cake and eat it too. So, hey, there you go. And then whole time, most of the time, what a lot of folks are doing too, they're not just sticking with said one person. 
they're doing all type of stuff. And it's just like, they want to hold you accountable, but it's just like, what are you doing though? I also will say too, like a lot of people get, you know, chest get heavy, heavy breathing or whatever, because they see somebody else doing whatever. But if you date and say a person, and y'all haven't had that conversation yet, please do understand they're going to live their life and do whatever they want to do. And that's going to happen regardless. Um, I agree. But like I said, just take your time. Put yourself <laughs> out there or don't. I mean, that's up you to you. Put I just, I just out there if you. Don't let energy vampires get to you. I'll just say that. She calls them energy vampires. I call them leeches. <laughs> Either way. Um, okay. Last question. Who are your I'll stick with three. Who are your top three dream guests to have on the show? Um dream guests. Let's see here. That, that, hmm. Barack that's Obama, crazy. 50 Cent. Um who else? Barack yes, Obama, good 50 job. Cent. And Robert Smith. Who is Robert Smith? Robert. He's a black billionaire. That's the B. No, that's not the BET guy, right? Mm-mm. He made most of his money on uh, Wall Street with trades okay. or whatnot. I just want y'all to. Well, you can't really see. This thing is so moist. I bet don't, it is. It is. Leaning, don't it? Yeah. <laughs> it's so uh-huh. good. I can tell your whole face out the screen. You had to dip down for that. Can't leave no crumbs, huh? <laughs> it's like just right. Um, why would you have those three on in particular? Because they can uh, provide great insight from all aspects. Out from all aspects, uh, Obama from the political side, uh, Fifty Cent from the, the industry side as far as music and everything goes with that, and then Robert Smith will give you insight as far as when it goes to like uh, trade stocks, uh, Wall Street information so you get a little little bit of everything from each of those people and they're trendsetters and they're all right with everything that they've done okay um there's a lot of people that i would love to come on but the three that come to mind immediately are amanda seals she's a comedian author actress um storyteller if you may know her from um, Insecure, she played Tiffany. Uh, and then I would say Yamanika Saunders. She's a comedian. Uh, she's written for television as well, and she's an actress. And then the third would be Issa Rae. Obviously, y'all can see her back here. Um, she was a content creator, but she's created shows, actress. She's also funny, so she's not a comedian, but she's funny. But I would say those three because, A, I feel like they're always looking out for the betterment of Black people, especially Black women. Uh, They have valuable information to share, not just about, like, their career and things to do to be successful in entertainment, but, like, also just history and social issues and things like that. But being able to make it funny, which I feel like can be difficult. You don't really see too many people doing that other than, like, Dave Chappelle. Um, so as far as like men go, you don't really see that too often. Dave Chappelle, Chris Rock sometimes, um, but those three, especially Yamanika and Amanda, they're like the female version of that. So that's some great insight. That's a beautiful thing. We appreciate y'all sending in your questions, asking us uh some good stuff, but please keep sending them in though so we can have the questions to ask the next time we do do this, because this is a, a great opportunity for us to show you not only food from around, from different places, but as well as, you know, allowing everyone that is watching us to learn a little bit more about us. So this this was good, this was good. And some like ideas too, that are different from the podcast. All right, I have been Daisha D. And I've been Jay Stan. Always remember to like, comment, and subscribe. And join us every other Friday.